right next to the castle they look to have this cliff railway so uh, what we have seen is an example a perfect example of how you can lose two pounds for 15 seconds all right guys today we have arrived to bridge north a small town in west of birmingham what we have in front is called river seven this river splits the town in half As first impressions, we can see that this town has a lot, a lot of pubs, like the one in front. Right, this pub looks to be built in 1580. I mean, have a look at its awesome architecture. And at its entrance, so this pub is called Bishop Percy's Tea Room. So it's uh, actually a tea room. So here you have more info about it. And also, we have seen here that has a 9.7 rating on uh, booking.com and this is how it looks inside and this is the view from the pub's uh, terrace and in case you feel uncomfortable sometimes uh, think about how uh, you will feel if you will sit here nice place they have here even if we are outside uh, the smoking uh, is not uh, allowed on uh, the terrace so the visit at this pub was awesome mm -hmm. now let's carry on walking to these narrow streets all right guys so far the town looks awesome uh, so let's see what's uh, all about uh, visiting the other sides of it we are now on a street called Riverside, which is uh, obviously along uh, River Seven, the one we have in front. Here we can enjoy the house's architecture and this small archaeological uh, site formed by sandstone. So this was actually a medieval Franciscan friary, as can be seen here. Again, uh, it's unbelievable how this uh, sandstone uh, is still looking as uh, untouched by any weather conditions. To be honest with you guys, I really like uh, these houses. I think they have been built using the bricks from this area. So walking along River Seven is indeed awesome, especially in Bridge North. I mean, have a look, what a nice view we have also from here. Visiting this town is indeed interesting. We are now on a narrow street called uh, Friars Street, where we can enjoy the view we have in front. These houses, for me, are looking really, really small. What's your opinion, guys? If you have a different one, please drop it in the comment section. We are filming now on a hill between Friars Street and Riverside Street. As can be seen, we have a nice view also from here. Looking at this small town from above is indeed relaxing. So the upper town side of Bridge North is indeed amazing. I mean, have a look at this uh, specifically narrow street. Of course, uh, goes uh, straight to a pub. Before visiting the town center, we've stopped here at St. Mary Magdalene Church. This looks to have, again, uh, an interesting architecture, as can be seen. I mean, have a look at these columns. And from here, we have a better angle of this church. It is a nice building indeed. And I believe this was built with sandstones. Looks to me like uh, these are sandstone bricks. In case I'm wrong, drop a comment. Also, these columns are from the same stone. That's interesting. Instead of using marble, they used sandstone. So far, the town looks really compact. What's your opinion? And from right next to the church, we have this amazing view over the lower town. So we are now filming from the upper town where they have the town center and the cathedral. This vlog will focus the attention on this side, the upper town. So what was filmed over the lower town is from this pretty nice alley called Castle Walk. So now it's time to visit the Bridge North Castle. We are filming now in Bridge North Castle uh, Garden. Here we have quite uh, a nice view. In front uh, we are welcomed uh, by a pretty nice pavilion. 
I mean, look how this grass is cut. So there we have a tank. Let's have a closer look. Okay, here's the tank of grass. And here we have a ship. This is another nice piece of art and very well maintained. And finally, here we have a plane. Here I believe this is all that remained from Ridgenorth Castle. And here you have all the information you need about this uh, archaeological site. And from here we can have a better view over the wall's thickness. These walls are amazing. Sadly, this is all that remained from uh, this castle. Now let's head to the town center. Right next to the castle, they look to have this cliff railway. And this is the return ticket price if you want to have a trip with it. Right guys, so uh, what we have seen is an example, a perfect example of how you can lose two pounds for 15 seconds. Yeah, so be aware of this. Either way, let's uh, carry on walking. So we are now in Ridge North Town Center and in front we have their town hall. This place looks more like a marketplace. Let's have a look to see what they have. Okay, this looks to be their town center. Practically, this street is the main one. So right next to their high street, the town has this church called St. Leonard's Church. This can be well seen is another building uh, made entirely by sandstone and was constructed in the 13th century. This one also has an interesting architecture. What's really interesting here is that instead of seeing a cemetery, we are seeing houses all around this church. This thing makes it genuine compared with what we have seen so far. And what we have in front is the new town hall of Ridge North. This is a building that's right next to this church. I mean, have a look also at these uh, windows. They are really, really small. And the frame seems to be worked in uh, sandstone. This is not a thing that uh, we often see. So same house is presenting really interesting wooden crafts, as can be seen. All right, guys, what's your opinion about this town? Drop a comment, we would like to know. Again, uh, we are seeing a lot of houses all along this church. So this looks to me like it's a kind of a main square of this town. And this is an example how the old houses are looking like from this town. See, they have been uh, built uh, also with wood, a lot of wood, I would say. Thanks for watching and subscribe.